Hi, I'm Tobias Elsa from the University of Michigan. The VHL Alliance asked me to talk a little bit about the international VHL TUMA board they launched about a year ago. Otho Neliopoulos from MGH actually was heading this TUMA board for the last year and then passed on the baton to me, so I got to moderate the last couple of meetings. And I'm really honored about this, and I'm really, really excited about this. You know, while, why, why do we like to meet to talk about VHL and our patients? Well, I think first and foremost, because it's really in the patient interest, right? So we get expert opinions and expert input from all frankly, all international places in the world from the few people that see probably most of the patients with VHL worldwide. It has become a very, very interesting enterprise because um, for a condition like VHL, which is extremely rare, you know, experience still really, really matters. It's not only what's written in textbooks, it's really the experience over years. And I know this from my personal experience. I started seeing patients at the University of Michigan about 10 years ago, and we have a regular exchange with um, our experts locally. But now to extend this internationally with the help of video platforms is just phenomenal, particularly because the world in VHL care is changing, right? We for years only discussed surgical and local approaches versus wait and watch approaches, right? Now with Belsudifan, we have a true medical alternative, right? But even there, there's questions that persist. You know, there are different concerns at different places in the world, different access at different places in the world to this drug, right? So it's important to see what is other people's practices, you know, when do we use this drug? When is it right? When is probably the traditional therapy right? And I think that makes it really, really interesting. Some patients are actually presented by groups that don't have very much experience from, with a VHL and they really benefit from the expert input. But even when you listen to the experts discussing some of those case, cases, it is very interesting. And I think we all learn from this experience. And um, I know this from my personal um, experience with this tumor board. I presented some cases where I thought, well, you know, the outcome is likely um, this and we would recommend this approach. However, um, things totally changed after we discussed this. So I could go back to our patients and say, well, we discussed this at the International VHL Tumor Board. We had input from uh, worldwide experts and this is what I would offer you as a suggestion for further treatment or how we um, should continue care in the future. And they're usually very delighted. It's like a free international second opinion. And um, usually it just adds immensely to the care of our patients. So for all healthcare providers that are interested in the care of VHL patients or who see VHL patients, please tune in to our International VHL Tumor Board. It's a wonderful experience. And you know, the other reason to do this is that we all get to know each other a little bit more, which is also just wonderful. There's so certainly the social aspect of things as well. Thank you very much.